In the community she called home, this was a chance to remember those who knew Olivia Pratt Corbell, the neighbours and friends in the church where she would have taken Holy Communion in the next year. Away from the cameras, Olivia's mother was among the congregation. We can only imagine what the family continues to endure, but this was those around them coming together in a show of support. Proof is a very difficult thing, and it will take them a long, long, long time to... Well, you never come to terms with what's gone on, but they will certainly be able to suck it in and say that they're not on their own. People here will show an invisible support. The investigation continues. Police say they're grateful to those who've come forward with information, but that just because arrests have been made, it doesn't mean they need that information any less. Close to the scene of the murder, officers were carrying out another search. The firearm used still hasn't been found. For more than a week now, this community has wrestled with the horror of what happened to Olivia, the questions and the anger and the disbelief. But this was a moment of reflection, a moment to mourn the loss of one young life and the heartbreak of one family. I hope that the family have gained some strength from seeing exactly how many people have come out this evening. Um, and I know the school have got further things that are going to happen over the next couple of days, so hopefully the family will get um, a little bit of strength from that, knowing that everybody is behind them, 100%. It's just a shame that something like this happens, has to happen to bring a community together. And it's really, really sad. I mean, I feel for you know, the young children growing up today in a place in a cruel, cruel world. And I just hope that they get them. Next week, children will return to Olivia's school without her, but with support on hand. So next week is an opportunity to find out just how deep the impact has been on the children and what level of support each child will need. Some will need more than others. Some will know more than others. They queued to sign a book of condolence in what the bishop called a dark hour for this community and one still with so many questions. Greg Milam, Sky News, Liverpool.